Okay, I've got the little ingot that we just made, and what I have here is an X-Acto knife with a scraper tip, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to smooth out the little swirl patterns that the milling bit makes. The pattern that you see on a lot of metal done on purpose, it's very common in the automobile, custom automobiles to where they're adding metal for looks. I'm not going to go that much further on this so we can just get with the program here. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and we'll melt down that ingot I just poured this morning. And we'll get it going. So I'll get the torch turned on, the tank gloves face shield and we'll see what we get with this little jewel now you'll see a lot of molds to where they say it's for one ounce and two ounce and it's actually however much metal you pour in it and also the type of metal that you pour in it. So we'll get the old cooker going here. I'm going to take that ingot, put it in the melting dish, move that, set it up on a fire brick. And
okay we will let that cool let me turn off my torch and my tanks I'm very very careful to keep my tanks even if I got to turn them on and off ten times a day uh, the price of gas anymore you can't afford to I'm gonna try and get a little better peekaboo at that now because that pure tin <coughs> it melts at a lower temperature and we're just doing this for demonstration purposes and I'm gonna grab my coffee cup which you can't see and I'm gonna let that cool off but you can see when you pour an open mold it it makes the top rounded because of the surface tension of the metal it's just like when you put water into a glass and it appears to go up higher than the edge and that's due to the surface tension if you want a flat ingot like this one let's see if I can get a better picture of that I gotta get around here and This ingot was poured in a two-piece mold. So, but if you're doing silver and, and what have you and you're selling it, I've got auctions right now to where I just pour baby loaf there about a half inch wide and an inch to inch and a half long and they'll be rounded on top and uh, they sell just fine and then people meld them down and that's a little gadget I'm trying to get made right now and these are porcelain or uh, ceramic and I use them in the little furnaces back here I can zoom out right there and they go right down in the heat chamber and they just do an excellent job that'll take silver with a handheld propane torch and I just take the silver put it in the mold throw it in there fire a propane torch put it in there and within a few minutes I got a an ingot made okay the ingots look like they're cool enough I'm gonna try and not burn my hands but we'll see what we get hopefully they're chilled all the way Oh, there's my little skull and crossbones guy. And there's our little loaf ingot. I can see I got a little more work to do on the swirl marks. But anyway, that's how you do it. Like I said, I can turn that over and do another mold on it and this one. is just a little skull and crossbones that I sell so anyway that's just a quick and dirty make it in your own garage uh, carbon graphite mold all told I don't have well I got the cost of the end mill and then other than that uh, you just gotta find you a source for carbon brushes or junk carbon there's quite a bit of it out on eBay right now so anyway hope you guys learned something and I'll get this out on YouTube pretty quick <laughs>